dear students you must be enjoying your online classes and the assessment given to you i came to know that you are having some problem so i am explaining the question number 9 of the assessment of the respiratory system the question number 9 was which is untrue about chloride shift okay so there were four options essentially complete in one second chloride content of arterial blood is more than venous blood chloride content of venous blood is more than arterial blood and the last option is associated with diffusion of chloride from plasma into red cells okay there are four option we have to mark the untrue or false option so three are true option so number 1 essentially complete in one second is absolutely right fine now we will come to the chloride shift in the blood okay so there is lot of co2 in the venous blood outside the blood vessel when this co2 enters from tissue to the blood what happens there is a lot of co2 in the plasma so pco2 increases and then this co2 enters into the rbc okay in rbc this co2 combines with h2o to form carbonic acid h2co3 and this carbonic acid is again dissociated into h plus and hco3 minus ion whenever this reaction occurs CO2 is coming. It is combining with H2. Again, it is making H2CO3 and it is dissociating in H plus and HCO3 minus. Carbonic anhydrase is essentially more in more concentration in RBC. So this reaction is more important in RBC rather than plasma. This reaction also happens in plasma. Fine. There is a lot of bicarbonate in the RBC. So this bicarbonate tend to leak into the plasma. fine but when the negative charge go outside cell will feel electronic imbalance so in exchange of bicarbonate it takes chloride into the cell fine so in venous blood bicarbonate is going out and out and out of the cell and chloride is going in and in and in the cell fine so there is lot of chloride inside the rbc and there is less chloride in the plasma but whenever we talk about the concentration of any ion we take this value in the plasma okay so whenever we talk about blood calcium or serum calcium level or sodium level or potassium level or chloride level we are talking about extracellular fluid we are not talking about intracellular concentration of these ions so in this reaction chloride is continuously decreasing in blood that is venous blood and it is continuously increasing in the rbc fine and when this thing happens in the arterial blood just opposite takes place more and more of co2 releases from the rbc to into the plasma so just reverse reaction occur and reverse chloride shift happens so we can compare this b and c option chloride content of arterial blood is more than venous blood chloride content of venous blood is more than arterial blood so in this reaction we are watching that in venous blood concentration of chloride is going down and down and in rbc chloride is going up and up okay so chloride concentration in the venous blood is going down and down so chloride content of arterial blood would be more than the venous blood so chloride content of arterial blood is more than venous blood this is true option okay and last one is associated with diffusion of chloride from plasma into red cell very simple in this chloride is going inside the rbc from plasma so it is very simple it is very easy fine so wrong answer would be c and we know that or a uh, question or at that why more hematocrit is there in venous blood is the logic be yahi hai because more electronegativity is there more osmotically active ions are there so they imbibe water the rbc is swollen up 
and there is more hematocrit in the venous blood. This is what will happen and why question. Okay. So this is the explanation. If you have any query, kindly let me know in the comment section. And uh, if you like this video, kindly share and subscribe. Thank you.